welcome to our channel knowledge of friends subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for the latest update today we're going to start with your quantitative aptitude class and this is your class 29 as i told you and before that we had done your 28 classes of quantitative aptitude where we had started with arithmetical ability and in that we had started uh, this is the fourth topic that we have to discuss is your simplification first topic which we had discussed here that is your operations on numbers lcf and scm of numbers decimal fraction and this is the fourth topic which is simplification here first of all it's a huge request from my side to all the viewers to please go through with the subscribe button and please like share and subscribe to our channel so that many and maximum people can get the information at once and even though you can also enjoy the video as well now today we'll go ahead and to start with your 259 questions of the sessions as well as we had discussed 258 question in the last classes that we had done in your 28 classes here first of all it's a huge request as i told you to please go through with the subscribe button and please like share and subscribe to our channel the first question for the session for this we have a classroom has equal number of boys and girls eight girls left to play kho kho leaving twice as many boys as girls in the class so what was the total number of girls and boys present initially that has been asked here and which has been asked in your SBI PO question paper as well options for this we have a 16 24 30 who cannot be determined and none of these and that we have to discuss here so yes we'll go ahead further which is the question that we have to discuss A classroom has equal number of boys and girls here that is eight girls left left to play Coco leaving twice as many boys as girls in the classroom. What was the total number of girls and boys present initially this has been asked as i told you this has been asked in your sbi PO question paper and that is also an important paper respect towards competition wise as well now we'll go ahead further which we have to discuss and on the same behalf of it as i told you this has been asking you sbi po question paper as well and the options for this we have 16 24 cannot be determined and of course none of these and for that we'll have to find out for the solution for this as well so yes we'll go ahead let the number of the boys be x let the number of boys equals to x then number of girls equals to x as well because one equal thing and for that now 2 x minus 8 equals to x or we can say that x equals to 16 so total number of students equals to 2x so that it means we'll just multiply it by 2 into 16 so that is equals to 32 so total number of students we have is your 32 that is the total number of the students that we will get it now we'll go ahead with another question and that we have to discuss here and even though which is also an important one in different terms of it that we talk about it the another question is
the 260th question of the sessions here and that the question states that after distur distributing the sweets equally among 25 children eight sweets remain had the numbers of children been 28 22 sweets that would have been left after equally distributing what was the total number of sweets here the options for this we have is 328 348, 358 and data inadequate. So in that same case, we'll go ahead with the question first and then we'll find out the resolution for this as well. So here, after distributing the sweets that we have equally among 25 children, 8 sweets remain, had the number of children been 28, 22 sweets that would have being left after equally distributing what was the total number of sweets the option as i told you the options we have 328 348 358 and data inadequate so on the same cases we'll go ahead for the solution for this as well and that we have as follows for that let the total number of the sweets be 2 sweets b equals to and that we have here is 25 x plus 8 then 25 x plus 8 equals to no oh sorry minus 22 is divisible by 8 28 So 25 x minus 14 is divisible by 28 that uh, we have this has been uh, 25 by uh, 25 uh, x that has been uh, we have that is divisible by 28 so we can say that further it is 28 x minus uh, that is 3x plus 14 that is divisible uh, by you know by 28 so now 3x plus 14 is divisible by 28 so x equals to 40 total number of sweets equals to 25 into x equals to 14 put the value 14 plus 8 and get answer 358 that will be the right answer the total number of the suite is 358 and that will be the right answer for this question answer. Now we'll go ahead with another question and that is your yeah, another question is 261 at question of the session and that even though we have to discuss here. The question we have here is in a regular week there are 5 working days and for each day the working hours are 8. A man gets rupees 
2.40 per hour for regular work so we are that is uh, a man gets rupees 2.40 per hour for regular work and rupees 3.20 per hour for overtime and if he earns rupees 432 in a week then how many hours does he work for that is the options we have is 160 175 130 and 180 and 195 this has been the question which has been asked in your bank for your question paper as well so on the same cases we'll go ahead and that we have to talk about it so for that in a regular week there are five working days and for each day the working hour are eight a man gets rupees 2.40 per hour for regular work and rupees 3.20 per hour for overtime that we have and if he earns rupees 432 in four weeks then how many hour does he work for that is the question here so the options for this we have here is 160 175 180 and 195 and as i told you this has been asked in your bank for your question paper and that is also an important one so yes for that we'll go ahead further and that we have to talk about it so the question here and the session for this we have suppose the man works Suppose the man works overtime for X hours. Now, working hours in four weeks equals to five into eight into four, which is equals to one sixty. 160 into 2.40 plus x into 3.20 equals to 432 3.20 x equals to 432 minus 384 which equals to 48 and x equals to that is 15 so hence total hours of work equals to that we have 160 plus 50 160 plus 50 so that is we will have and that is equals to that we get is 175 that will be the right answer for this question as well now we will be going ahead with another question and that is 262th question of the sessions as well and that is also an important one so the question is a sum of rupees 312 was divided among 100 boys and girls 
in such a way that each boy gets rupees 360 3.60 and each girl gets rupees 2.40 so the number of the girls we have to find out and the options for this we have is 35 45 40 60 and 65 this has been the important question because this is also been asked in your aao exam here and that is also an important one and that we even do have to solve it out as well so yes for that we have a question here where a sum of rupees 312 was divided among 100 boys and girls in such a way that each boy gets rupees 3.60 and each girl rupees 2.40 so the number of girls we have to find out that we have to find out this has been asked in your AAO examination paper as and as I told you now we'll go ahead for the solution for this as well and that is also an important one here as I told you before now okay let's go ahead for that as well so for that yes we'll go ahead let the number of boys is x let the number of boys equals to x then number of girls equals to 100 minus x so 3.60x plus 2.40 minus x equals to 312 1.20x equals to 312 minus 240 which is equals to 72 and x equals to 60 here so hence number of girls number of girls equals to 100 minus x so 100 minus 60 what we will be getting it uh, here and that is your 40 that will be the right answer for this question as well now we'll go ahead further and that we have to discuss here and which is another new question so for that uh, the question we have to 63rd question of the sessions here and the question states that each boy contributed rupees equals to the number of girls and each girl contributed rupees equals to the number of boys in a class of 60 students if the total contribution thus collected is rupees 1600 how many boys are there in the class this is the question here options we have 25 30 50 and data any debate let's go ahead to find it out and that we have to find out and that is also an important one here each boy contributed rupees equal to the number of girls and each girl contributed thus collected is rupees uh, that is each uh, 
boy contributed rupees equals to the number of girls and each uh, uh, girl contributed uh, that is rupees equals to the number of number of boys in a class of 60 students if the total contribution thus collected is rupees 1600 how many boys are there in the class this we have to talk about it and this is also an important one options for this we have here with 25 30 and uh, that we have your 50 and that is data inadequate here so yes for that we'll solve it out as well and let the number of the boys equals to x let the number of boys equals to x then number of girls equals to 60 minus x x 60 minus x plus 60 minus x equals to 1600 60x minus x square plus 60x minus x square is equals to 1600 2x square minus 120x plus 1600 equals to 0 x is equal minus 60x plus 800 equals to 0 x minus 40 x minus 20 we get 0 here yeah, that is equals to x equals to 40 or x equals to 20 so we are not that we have to talk about it so here we are not uh, definite hence data is inadequate okay so that is the data has been given is inadequate it does not mean that you always you will get your answer it uh, would be possible that uh, the data that has been given is your inadequate here now we'll go ahead with the 264th question of the session and the next question we have where a worker may claim rupees 1.50 for each kilometer which he travels by taxi and 50 pesa for each kilometer he drives his own car and if in a one week he claims rupees 50 for traveling 80 kilometers how many kilometers did he travel by taxi here so you have to find that the options for this we have is 10 20 30 and 40 so we'll go ahead first with the question and then we'll find out for the answer as well so we are here it is a worker may claim rupees 1.50 for each kilometer which he travels by taxi and 50 pesa for each kilometer he drives his own car if in one week he claimed rupees 50 for traveling 
eighty kilometer. How many kilometers did he travel by taxi? The options we have is 10, 20, 30 and 40 and that we have to find out as well and on the same cases yes we'll go ahead for that as well. Let the distance covered by taxi be x kilometer. Let the distance covered by taxi be x kilometer then distance covered by car equals to 80 minus x kilometer so 1.5x plus 0.5 80 minus x equals to 50 we we'll get x equals to 50 minus 40 which is equals to 10 kilometer so the answer we'll get is your 10 kilometer here now we'll go ahead with another question that we have to talk about it which is the another new question as your 265th question of the session here So here we go ahead with another question and that is uh, the another new question that we have to talk about it and the question is in an examination a student uh, scores four marks for each correct answer and losses one mark for e every wrong answer if he attends in all 60 questions and secures 130 marks then the numbers of the questions he attempts correctly that you have to talk about it which has been asked in your LICA or examination paper then option for that we have here is 35, 38, 40 and 42 let's go ahead for the question here in an examination a student scores four marks for every correct answer and losses one mark for every wrong answer if he attempts in all 60 questions and secures 130 marks the number of questions he attempts correctly that we have to talk about it this has been the question which has been asked in LICA or uh, question paper options for this is 35 38 40 and 42 and let's go ahead for the solution for that as well and even though let the number of the correct answer be X let the number of correct answer B X and number of incorrect answer B number of incorrect answer B equals to sixty minus X here and that will be having four X minus sixty minus x equals to 130 5x equals to 190 and x equals to 38 
so we'll get the answer is equals to 38 that will be the right answer for this question as well now we'll go ahead with another new important question and that we have to talk about it which is the another new questions here and that is your 266th question of the sessions here uh, the question for that we have that the cricket team a cricket team won uh, three matches more than they lost if a, if, uh, a win uh, give them two points and losses minus one point how many matches in all have they played if their score is 23 uh, this has been asked in your SSC examination paper and that is also an important paper respect to us competition wise now we'll go ahead for that as well and that we have as follows so where we go ahead and um, that we have to discuss as i told you and the question is uh, the cricket team that has been asked in ssc examination paper so we are a cricket team won three matches more than they lost if a win gives them two points and loss minus one points how many matches in all have they played if their score is 23 this has been asked in your as i told you this has been asked in your ssc examination paper and that is also an important one let's go ahead for the solution for this one and that we have is your 266th question of the session for that the 266th solution we have to solve it out and for that let the number of matches last let the number of matches lost equals to x then number of matches won equals to x plus 3 so therefore 2x plus 3 minus x equals to 23 which will give you x equals to 17 so hence total number of matches played equals to x plus x plus 3 with the same cases now x plus x is your 2x that is equals to 2x plus 3 and that is of course equals to input the value of x is 17 so 217 uh, two za and then we we'll plus 3 so that is 17 two za is 34 plus 3 is 37 the answer we'll get is your 37 that will be the right answer for this question as well now we'll go ahead for the another one and that is the another new question and which is your 267th question of the session and the question is we are a man uh, and then on uh, the question is uh, a total of uh, 324 coins uh, of uh, 20 pesa and 25 pesa makes the sums of rupees 71 the number of the 25 pesa coin is what we have to find out this has been the question which has been asked in your nift examination paper and that is also an important paper in terms of it and the options for this we have 120 124 144 and 200 here yes go ahead 
a total that we have a total number of that we have so here a total uh, number of 324 coins of 20 pesa and 25 pesa makes a sum of rupees 71 that we have here the sum the number of 25 pesa we have to find the number of 25 pesa coin that you have to find out and that uh, the options for this we have here is 120 124 144 in 200 and as i told you this is being asked in your nifty examination paper so that is also an important paper respect towards competition wise here so we'll go ahead for that as well let the number of the 20 pesa coin be x and the number of the 25 pesa coin will be the 324 minus x here so for that solution we have let the number let the number of 20 pesa coin be x then number of 25 pesa coins equals to 324 minus x 0.20 into x plus 0.25 324 minus x equals to 71 further that is 20x plus 25 324 minus x equals to 1700 7100 which is equals to 5x equals to 1000 okay and further it is x equals to 200 so hence the number of 25 passive coins equals to 324 minus x equals to 124 here that will be the right answer for this question as well now we will be going ahead with another one and that is the another new question here and which is your 268 question of the session the question here is a man has rupees 480 in and in the denomination of one rupee notes five rupee notes and ten rupee notes the number of the notes of each denomination is equals to that what is equal so what is the total number of the notes that he has this has been the question which has been asked in your math examination paper and that is also an important paper respect towards competition wise we will talk about it options we have 45 60 75 and 90 let's go ahead a man has rupees 480 in the denomination of one rupee notes five rupee notes and ten rupee notes the number of notes of each denomination is equal what is the total number of nodes that he has okay this option we have 45 60 75 and 90 and this has been the question which has been asked in your math examination paper let's go ahead further and that we talk about it 
so for that we have a solution let uh, find it out for the solution for this as well so let number of nodes of each denomination is equal to bx then x plus 5x plus 10x equals to 480 16x plus equals to 480 as we will add it on 10 plus 5 is 5 15 and plus 1 6 so 16 here 16x equals to 480 here and that we have so on the same cases that is x equals to 30 here so hence total number of nodes is equals to 3x that is equals to 90 so that is 3 to the 9 that is 90 here that we get as an answer now we'll go ahead further which we'll talk about another new question and um, that is uh, in the same cases that uh, is the another new question we have to go ahead and even though that is also an important one so yes you have to just figure it out the question and then you have to answer it out and so that you will get to know and uh, which uh, we will talk about it so here talk about the another new question and even though which we have to talk about it and that is another new question and in the same case is the question we have that is your 300, uh, 269th question of the session and the question states that uh, which is uh, your like eight people are planning to share equally uh, that cost of the rental car and if one person withdraws from the arrangement and the other shares equally the entire cost of the car then the share of each of the remaining person increased by that you have to find out that has been asked in your MBA examination paper and that is also an important paper respect towards competition wise which we talk about it so yes we'll go ahead eight people are planning to share equally the cost of a rental car if one person withdraws from the arrangement and other share equally the entire cost of the car then the so then the share of each of the remaining person increased by this has been asked in your MBA examination paper that is also an important paper respect towards competition wise as well so yes for that uh, we have to go ahead for the solution for this as well and that is all, even though which is important this has been the question as i told you this has been asking your mba examination paper the option for this is 1 by 7 1 by 8 1 by 9 and 7 by 8 as well so yes for that we'll go ahead original show of one person equals to one by eight and new share of one person equals to one by seven 
increase equals to 1 by 7 minus 1 by 8. 7 is of 56, so 56, 1, 1. So required. Fraction equals to 1 upon 56 whole upon 1 upon 8 and that is uh, all we have and that can cancel it out so it will be give you 1 upon 56 into 8 it will be go up so it will cancel it out 8 ones are 8 8 7 are 56 so we will get 1 upon 7 here that will be the right answer for this question as well now we will be going ahead with another new question and that is another new important one which is your 270th question of the sessions here. So now as I told you and that 270th question we have here. One children's day, on children's day sweets were to be equally distributed among 175 children in a school and actually on a children's day 35 children were absent. And therefore, each children got four sweets extra. Total, how many sweets were available for distribution? This has been asked in your bank for your question paper. That is also an important one. For the options for this, we have is 2400, 2480, like 2400, 2480, 2680, and 2750, and none of these. So yes, for that, we'll go ahead. And that is 270th question of the sessions here. So 270th question of the session question is on children's day sweets were to be equally distributed among 175 children In a school, actually, on Children's Day, thirty five children were absent and therefore. Each child got four sweets extra total. How many sweets were available for distribution? The options for this we have, as I told you, 2400, 2480, 2680, 2750. And this has been asking a bank your question paper. So that is also an important paper, respect towards competition wise. We'll go ahead for the solution for this as well. Let total number of sweets b x then x upon 140 minus x upon 175 equals to 4 5 x minus 4 x equals to 4 into 700 that is equals to x equals to 2800 that will be the right answer for this question So on the same uh, on the same cases as I told you, and that uh, we have to talk about it, and that is the another new question is your two hundred and seventy uh, that uh, we have, uh, which is uh, which we, even though we have to talk about it, and that is also an important one in all respect. If I'm going ahead, so yes, uh, on the same cases, two hundred and seventy 
271th question of the session here. The question we have, a number of friends decided to go on a picnic and planned to spend rupees 96 on eatable. Four of them, however, did not turn up here. And that is as a sequence, the remaining uh, ones had to contribute rupees for each extra. The number of those who attended the picnic was that we have to find out. The options for this we have here and which is your 8, 12, 16 and 24. Let's go ahead for the question here. The number of friends decided to go on picnic and planned to spend rupees 96 on eatable four of them however did not turn up as a consequence, the remaining one had to contribute the piece for each extra. The number of those who attended the picnic was this we have to find out the options for this we have 8 12 16 and 24 and for that we will go ahead for the solution for this as well and that we have as follows let the number of the person be x then 96 upon x minus 4 minus 96 4 upon x equals to 4 1 upon x minus 4 minus 1 upon x equals to 4 upon 96 So here we go ahead and that even we have to talk, talk about it we have to talk about it here and on the same cases that uh, we will be going ahead uh, with the same case uh, we will be solving it out x minus x minus 4 uh, whole upon uh, x x minus uh, 4 which is equals to 1 upon 24 that is equals to x square minus 4x minus 96 equals to 0 which is equals to x minus 12 x plus to 8 and which is equals to 0 and we get x equals to 12 as an answer here now we'll go ahead with another question another new question that we have to talk about it which is also the another new question but that will discuss in the next coming class so that you will get to know about it and you know you will get you can solve that as well and we'll end up with hopefully we will end up with uh, this uh, class so, you know this is of class uh, uh, that is your uh, this is your uh, the quantitative aptitude so first of all it's a huge request from my side to all the viewers to please go to be the subscribe button and please like share and subscribe our channel and please like uh, please go through the playlist you will find out each and every video there as well and uh, before ending it off i just started very hard dealing with uh, your chemistry of class 12 which is uh, we had to start discussing about unit 1 and uh, which we had discussed about that is your the solid state as well as the unit 2 which we had discussed about the solution and the third unit we had discussed about it which is electrochemistry and the fourth uh, unit we had started with which is your chemical uh, kinetics as well 
after that uh, in terms of other than that we have to deal with the software engineering where we have to discuss many more questions uh, you know the question paper is related uh, to the unit 1 unit 2 unit 3 with unit 4 and unit 5 that we had discussed here after that we talk about it so yes we have to discuss we are dealing with the reasoning here in the reasoning section if i am going ahead so in the reasoning we had done your uh, that is the verbal reasoning where we had done your general mental ability and the logic reasoning in non-verbal reasoning we had done more than thousand questions of series analogy classification and uh, you know that is your uh, uh, bs uh, classification as well as analytical reasoning mirror image and water image will start with the next class here as well and after that if i'm talking about the quantitative aptitude yes that we are dealing with here uh, on the same respective manner we ha had started with arithmetical ability of the quantitative aptitude which is of section 1 that we had completed the operations on numbers LCM and SCF of numbers decimal friction simplification and yes in the next coming class for sure that will end up with a simplification and after that we'll start discussing about square roots and cube roots averages problems on numbers problems on ages serves and indices percentage profit and loss as well as we are on to the that is our uh, uh, profit loss ratio and proportion plus partnership chain rule time and work by consistent time and distance problems on trains boards and streams allegations or mixtures as well as simple interest some found interest legalism area volume and surface area races and games of skills calendars clocks as well as socks and shoes other than that, permutation and combination, probability, true discount, anchor discount, height and distances, and odd min out series as well. And section 2, we have to discuss data interpretation, where in that we have to discuss the tabulation, bar graphs, pie charts, and line, char line graphs as well. So here we we'll end up with, and first of all, it's a huge request from my side to all the viewers to please go through with the subscribe button and please like, share, and subscribe our channel. So that many and maximum people can get the information at once and even you can also enjoy the video as well so thank you um, thanks for appreciation and thanks for your support